Hello, I'm Kevin at Rimmers Music, and I'm going to show you this today. It is the Epiphone Appetite Burst, slash Appetite Burst, named after the debut album by Guns N' Roses from 1987. Arguably the greatest debut album of all time. It's certainly one of my favourites. So yeah, this guitar is uh, it's an absolute joy to play. It's so comfortable, it really is nice. And the, the sustain you can get from these two pickups, wow. These are uh, custom Pro Bookers and they are very nice. Each one has its own volume and tone control and you've got a pickup selector here. So when it's up, it's your neck pickup. So that's a richer, fuller sound as opposed to the bridge pickup, which is a thinner, brighter, more bitey tone. So that would be kind of ideal for your solos if you want to cut through a mix. Okay, also in the middle, you get both. So in the middle position here, so it's three position switch. In the middle, you get a good blend of both. So, what is it made of? Well, on top, we've got triple A grade maple veneer. See that? The grain in that maple is stunning. Absolutely jaw droppingly beautiful. It really is. So, underneath this fabulous maple top, We've got mahogany body and we've got a mahogany neck. Comfortable neck. It's not like it's not like a really chunky 50s neck, but also it's not like a really slim 60s neck. It's made to slash his spec and it's it's extremely comfortable. Uh, we've got vintage tuners, as you can see there. Really nice and solid, stays in tune, it really holds its tune uh, really well. Uh, we've got Slash's signature on the truss rod cover, and then just on the back, his little skull and crossbones doodle there. Both stamps of quality reassurance that you've got an absolute quality guitar designed by one of the greatest guitarists in the world and also that's ever lived and is still living uh, right so what have i not told you the fretboard is indian laurel very similar to rosewood i personally can't tell the difference it's virtually the same uh, it's very smooth so there's no scrapes when you're bending. Uh, it's precise if you want to go from right from the top to the bottom, you get exact precision, you know where you are. And it's comfortable. It's balanced as well. So it's not top heavy, it's not bottom heavy. It's a very well balanced guitar. It's also for a Les Paul, it's not too heavy. I know it, the, the weight of uh, Les Pauls do put a lot of people off, especially if you're gigging for a few hours on end. It can, it can hurt your back, shoulder, etc. But, I mean, it's not light, but it's certainly not heavy compared to most Les Pauls. So, I will play you uh, a little bit on clean. And then I'll uh, pop the amp onto overdrive and rock out for a moment or two. The amp, by the way, is a Boss Katana and it's the 1x12 100. Okay, so guess which band songs I'm going to play now. Alright, so on clean, and what I'll do for the purpose of the video, I'll have the pickup selector in the centre. All right, here we go.
on because on the next little riff I'm going to play uh, Slash has chorus on that song okay <laughs> guitar. Okay, so I'm going to pop the amp onto overdrive and play some nice rocky riffs. <laughs> Thank you. 
Absolutely amazing. So uh, check us out at rumorsmusic.co.uk. Uh, this is the Epiphone slash Appetite Burst, and it's absolutely brilliant. It comes with its own hard case as well. If you click the link in the bio to this video, take you over to the website, and one of these can be yours. Thanks for listening. Just one more look at that. Oh, so good. Uh, I've been Kev, and I'll see you again very soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.